Okay, it is May 10th, 2023, and this is the second devlog for Pool Tool. And I just thought that while I talk, um, I'd provide some gameplay of me messing about on the table, so that's what we're looking at here. It has been a long time since the last update, but I wanted to start by saying that Pool Tool is a lot more popular since the last time I gave an update. So here's a graph of the number of GitHub stars on the project provided by star-history.com. And uh, the first devlog was way back here, back when no one knew about it. And it is truly incredible to see how far we've come. So thank you for everyone who has showed interest in the project. I'm really excited that all this hard work is being noticed and used uh, by people who are equally as excited about, excited about open source pool physics as me. So it's been a pleasure. Since it's been such a long time since my last update, there is really too much for me to even try and, and summarize effectively. So I'm just going to hit two big highlights. And I think what is most glaringly obvious is how much better pool tool looks compared to two years ago. The picture really says a thousand words in that respect, but if you're interested in that transformation, you can check out a blog post I made on the subject. I'll be sure to leave that in the description. Second up, I've made the physics engine much, much faster. So this was accomplished primarily by converting most of the numerical computation associated with the shot evolution algorithm with uh, converting all of that to Numba. So if you don't know what Numba is, it is a Python package that accelerates your code <clears throat> by transforming it into machine language using a just-in-time compiler and this enables you to write code in Python that ends up being executed at the speed of lower level languages like C or C++. And yes, I got ChatGPT to write that summary. So in terms of speed, the entire shot is calculated between the moment when the cue stick first hits the cue ball and the moment when the animation starts. So. So in that very brief moment of time, the entire shot is calculated and the, and the animation is queued for rendered playback. So except for the break, in my experimentation and as you can see in this video, the average shot takes about 0.1 seconds to compute, which is in my opinion just barely noticeable and it's also much faster than it was before, so I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, the exception is the break, which is a bit of a different scenario because there are a lot of pairwise comparisons that have to be taken into account uh, that slow down the computation. So with that in mind, currently the nine ball break takes just under a second to compute, which is both too slow and also about 20 times faster than it used to be. So last note about the speed. I was contacted by this person who suggested that a new ball state could simplify the collision logic in the break, effectively speeding the break up massively. Um, so what an absolute joy that Pool Tool is now attracting talented people with great ideas. So I, I really hope that uh, if you have your own ideas um, about Pool Tool and its direction, that you would consider contributing um, contributing them to this open source project. I would love to hear about them either in the form of you know reaching out to me on GitHub or with a pull request. I'm all ears. So that's all I wanted to update you on for now. So thank you very much for listening. Special thanks to Sam Court. He is my first supporter on buymeacoffee.com. If you like this content and you want to support this project, you can buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash Evan. I will put that in the description. Um, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.